Hello, everybody. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a few weeks, have I? No, I haven't seen you in a few weeks. So, um, well, as you can notice, I have a new background. Well, it's actually just temporary while my bathroom is being redecorated. So, um, as I have not been posted for a few weeks because I was in Denmark, um, I'm bringing you the $20 makeup challenge. And this is kind of a winter edition because it's it's more of a dark, woody... You can actually see because half my face is done and half my face isn't. It's a kind of dark, woody, olivey eye with some new lips. And I actually really like it and I hope you like it as well. I was able to use some of my favorite products of last year. And I just hope you love it as much as I do. So with that said... I think we can get started. Can we? Can we? Yeah, we should get started. So, okay, so to, so to start with these, I'm going to start with foundation or concealer. In my case, I'm going to use my favorite concealer, which is the Wake Me Up Concealer, which uh, I'm going to just list the prices down below, but I did do it under $20. And I'm going to use my Wake Me Up Concealer by Rimmel London to just... Wait. Um, to just put it underneath my eyes. Kind of like in the triangle shape. To put it in any blemishes I could have in my forehead. Uh, underneath my brows, any pimples around my nose, and my chin area, just to a little bit on my nose as well. And then I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger, kind of patting it in so it can just, how do I say this, stay in my skin longer. I'm gonna put it this way, this way. Uh, um. And this concealer actually has great coverage and it's good for winter mornings when you really don't want to like wake up, put on foundation. Yeah. I love this concealer so much. I hate it they don't set it in my country but whatever. Okay, I'm just blending it this way, this way. Perfect. So, now, for people who have oily skin or need a little bit more coverage, I have one of the first powders I ever bought. That was the NYC Smooth Skin Press Face Powder. That I actually talked about this in one of my videos. Uh, I used the shade Naturally Beige, and actually, I really liked this powder a, a while back before I bought this stay mat, but it actually gets the job done for uh, around $3, so I'm just going to take the little sponge that comes with it, and I'm going to dab it underneath my eyes to set my concealer around my nose, because I get usually shiny around my chin to set my concealer again just this way this one is actually broken because I've had it for such a long time and I I forgot to buy one when I was in the States so sorry <laughs> and I think I think this is it it's pretty much it but me Mm, yep, that's it. And we're done with this, and we're going. Where's my sponge? I think I. Here it is. Um, okay, so um, moving on to bronzer, I'm gonna use another NYC product, which is so freakingly hyped in the internet. It's insane. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. And actually, for summer, this is a little bit uh, too natural for me, but for winter, it's just perfect. It's 
amazing and it's mad and you don't really find that mad in the drugstore so as I don't have and I won't use any brushes because that makes it more of a challenge I'm just going to fold the little sponge that come with it I'm gonna get a little bit of product no I'm already put it this way and I'm just gonna squish it no just not to squish it what am I saying I'm just gonna kind of try to blend it with the sponge I'm gonna put it around my chin as well I don't know why I'm talking like this do I sound like I have some kind of accent? No, probably not. You can also... Yeah, it looks... Looks kind of good, doesn't it? No, you're not funny. Shut up. Okay, so using, again, the bronzer, if you want to, you can also contour. I will really contour here. No, okay. You can also contour here. Yep. And you're done with the bronzer, yeah, or maybe I can use it for eyeshadow. Um, oh, right, uh, I'm not gonna do blush now because um, I have a lip liner for uh, my lips, and I'm also gonna use it as a blush because it's very creamy. Um, what am I have to do? Uh, back to concealer, if you have very oily eyelids or just oily eyelids like I do, teary eyes, it's good to sort of dab your concealer if you don't have an eyeshadow primer because this will keep your eyeshadows in place longer. Uh, you just dab it down, dab, 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 dab. And you got it. So now for eyeshadows, I'm going to use one of my favorites from last year and I've talked about it so freaking much. Like not here on YouTube because I only mentioned it once, but like I freaking love this and I freaking love this color. It's the Essence Quattro Eyeshadow Quattro, um, in the color 8, would you mind? So first, I'm just gonna pick this light green. And then put this uh, darker olive green in my crease, and I'm gonna use this black, this almost blacky mauve, not mauve, or Shrek color as a definer, and then I'm gonna use a lightest color in the center of my lids, and as a highlight, and as an inner corner highlight, and as a brow bone highlight. Okay, so um, I'm done with the eye, I think, but um, just to kind of warm it up a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of the bronzer uh, outside. It looks really pretty that way, I would say. What are you doing? Yeah, it kind of gives it a more warm <laughs> essence to it. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to make this video too long, and I'm just going to put on the mascara, and this is another NYC product. This is the Skyrise mascara, and it's such a good lengthening mascara. Um, I'm just gonna use it in a lot, uh, several coats, and my lower. No, in my. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, I'm gonna put several coats in my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so um, this is optional, and I actually have really field brows to say it that way but um, I know many people who don't so I wanted to include a uh, brow pencil and this is the NYC Cold Brow Eyeliner Pencil. This is actually really good for brows. Not as good as an eyeliner but uh, it's really good with brows and I'm, I'm just gonna like sli slightly fill it. I'm gonna comb it through. It's really waxy and it's actually a really good pencil. It's a minus in jet black because I have really dark eyebrows. So uh, to, just to finish off the look, I'm gonna bring my Essence lip liner. It, this is in, in the nude and actually you can either put it in your hands and warm it up a little bit or just like put some on your cheeks and you can blend it out. And it looks as good. I would say this is a very creamy pencil and I love the Essence lip liners. They are literally so cheap. 
So uh, that's why I love them. I'm just gonna put it on my lips and <gasps> and yeah, I'm just gonna put it on your lips. This doesn't dry out your lips. It's, it's what I love. I'm just gonna. So, this is the complete look. You can. I actually really, really like this look. I will use it for any night event because I don't really wear much makeup during the day. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's amazing what you can do with this $20 at the drugstore. And I hope you can all recreate this look and love it as much as I do. Thumbs up if you want more $20 makeup challenge. And comment below if you got any suggestions for next video. I will see you next time. Bye!